little piece of nautiloid here. So, hopefully we can find something cool. Maybe a big old uh, rolled up isotelus or uh, some other trilobites or even some big uh, nautiloid uh, cephalopod pieces would be cool. We'll see. All right, we got what looks to be like a giant horn coral. See if I can dig it out. We're pretty frozen. I think we're around 23 degrees or something around there. So things are kind of hang on, let me dig this out. Okay. Had to get out the hammer. Pretty big guy, it's got a big chunk of stuck in a big chunk of rock, but it's pretty big for what we usually find. Cool. I've also found a bunch of little brachiopods and stuff. Oh, another horn coral right there. Stuff all over the place. Thought this was kind of a neat little slab. It's got a nice little gastropod right there. Cool bryozoan. Piece of cephalopod. Again, you find these everywhere here. There's another, here was a neat. Oh. Man, it's freezing. Uh, slab with just some big. Where is that one on? That's pretty cool. It's like glued to the ground. of interesting things here. Let's have a novoid cephalopod. Still looking for that trilobite. So these are the kind of rocks that all these brachiopods weather out of. They just kind of see all these uh, fragments, and as these rocks become loose from the dirt and they lay out. Mother Nature does her thing. All these oh, freeze, thaws, freezing and thawing. Those uh, freeze thaw cycles and all the rain and other weather just erodes erodes this stuff out. This big clump of dirt's lower. I swear I've never seen a place move so much. All this mud and rock. Every time I come here, it's just a little bit different. Staring back yet. Well, 
nice. Here's um, I don't know if you can see from the video, that's all ice. Frozen uh, where the water comes out from up there. So we had a bunch of rain. Had some rain recently and thought there might be some new stuff living out. I found a few things, but we'll check back. Alright, nothing crazy so far, but I got a super nice little uh, clean little brachiopod. Uh, here's another cephalopod chunk. Here's a piece, pretty busted up, an internal mold of a gastropod. Go up the hill a little bit here. Looked up on this side very much. So, we'll see. Here's something kind of caught my eye. Some kind of coral piece. Kind of cool, something different. Here's a nice big uh, cephalopod piece in the matrix. I'm gonna have to chisel that out, it's frozen in the ground. Let's see. It's pretty cool. That's this all up here, if I can get to it. Horn coral that had a lot of different coloration just from being in the soil. Kind of a nice piece of bryozoan, pretty big. It's a bunch of, I don't know if you can see them in the video, but a bunch of geese flying by. So they're trying to, there's some old straw here on the ground and some like plastic netting. They're trying to preserve this hill Probably grow a bunch of grass or some kind of plant on it to keep it from eroding. And if they're, I guess, when they're successful at that, um, these fossils will be uh, hidden again. All right, we're going to take a look at everything I found. Found a lot of horn coral, some brachiopods, and of course, some cephalopods. I did find this, um, some kind of coral, I'm not sure. I haven't found anything really like that before. Sometimes uh, you see where kind of like the cephalopod indentation comes down. They're kind of staggered. I'm not sure exactly what caused that. Something uh, in the 
either during the fossilization process or, you know, if the chambers are breaking apart and dissolving. I don't think the uh, fossilization process is as cut and dry as some people make it out to be. Each, uh, each fossil and circumstance and situation is completely unique. Here's some uh, gastropod internal molds. Nice clean brachiopods. So, a lot of growth lines. Here's where the pedicle would come out. Here's the cat. Some big pieces of bryozoan. Pretty big, um, busted it apart. <laughs> A little piece of crinoid column. I had two of those, I don't know where the other one went. Here's another close up of some of the brachiopods. Here's that horn coral with all the uh, coloration. It's got a nice patina. Not sure if that's kind of like iron deposit or some kind of, I don't know. Very worn, it's like a weathered. Very cool, I don't have very many ones. I don't think I have any like that. I've got some really uh, kind of worn out weathered ones, but I don't use them. They're typically this gray, sometimes lighter, sometimes darker, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> 